I've pretty much always been writing since primary school and writing is what I do here at Afters. And I was doing that before I came. I recognized that I wasn't progressing though I thought in my head that I was, but it became very clear that I wasn't. You know, I was at a stage in my life where I think I needed to fully commit to like getting into my, into, into writing and um, pursuing that. And I thought afters was the best avenue. I've strongly felt in myself that I needed a mentor in the field and I would like to be in a more active and engaged environment and I've never been in one and nor have I had a mentor in the field. I came to uh, an open evening where I met Pia and chatted with her and um, we got on really well so I was like oh this could be fun. Um, I think we spoke a lot about structure <laughs> which is real nerdy uh, screenwriter chat. You know that first semester I, I hadn't done a lot of study for a long time and um, the amount of writing I had to do was really overwhelming. Um, but, you know, I pushed through, I pushed through it. One of the challenging but formative aspects of the course that I know I'm enjoying but is, is quite difficult is the balancing of the exegesis, so the research, with um, my craft in screenwriting. So everyone in their discipline has their um, craft, but we also have to do research as well. And the hopeful link between them is that the research and the exegesis will be creatively led. So your practice will give you artifacts and processes that you can then dissect in your research. You're in there every week um, sharing work and you're getting feedback, even though it's your project, you're still getting great uh, feedback from the tutors, from the other students, people are reading your work. And so you're getting real immediate um, feedback from all your uh, peers and collaborators. You're on your toes all the time in a good way because people throw things at you in feedback that you wouldn't have thought of yourself. And, but then when you would have thought of it and you both came to that idea for different reasons, that's the best. I love the Afters Library. Like I, I'm actually in love with it. Um, <laughs> I, and it's a really cool space. Physically, I mean, the, there's a lot of glass and it looks out onto um, a couple of trees and grass. And it's always, I always like there to be green near where I'm working. It's always quiet. The staff are super humanly kind and patient and have helped a lot with my research queries. My experience of the teaching here has truly, it's truly transformed my craft and honestly, my sense of self, I really mean that. I've had three close teachers who have tracked my work and who have known how to challenge me um, across different subjects, two of them in screenwriting and one of them in research and development. So indebted to the staff here, you know, Pia is so encouraging. She put together a great program for the screenwriters. Um, she got in really great, um, you know, lecturers and guest lecturers. So helpful in helping me develop my research idea and, and to really take it from the practical into the theory back to the practical so it was a fully uh, encompassing and useful um, thesis that I wrote at the end. And I took that thesis and developed a short course which I'm now teaching using it. So, um, you know, the exegesis and the thesis can actually, you know, it's not just a theoretical thing that you study and then let go of. It's something that you can use throughout your career theoretically, but also use as a teaching tool as well if, if you want to go in that direction. You know, there's so many components to um, who you are as a, as a person, as a creative, what you want to be in your career. I think somebody who is steadfast and adamant about wanting to be in the film industry, particularly in Australia, I think should definitely do this course. It was exactly, it's really been close to what I had imagined in that I've space and time and support to work on screenwriting, my own screenwriting, but also so much opportunity and space and support to collaborate with people in other disciplines, many of whom now are, I'm grateful to say good friends of mine.
you know, in one aspect it's, yeah, it's having great networks, but in another aspect it's being ready for those networks, making sure that you have the work ready to go um, so that when opportunity comes a knocking, you can, you know, open the door with a bountiful harvest of projects ready to go. <laughs> Thank you.